Hey everybody, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and today we are doing a tutorial, a video tutorial on how to create a Skyrim themed desktop. It is completely Skyrim themed. It uses the Skyrim UI actually to navigate your icons so you can use that left vertical slider to launch your games via the Skyrim UI and it is functioning much better on the Windows desktop than an actual Skyrim so it's not like you're drinking the Ron potion by accident and then wanting to kill yourself. So uh, I'm not bitter but that's what we're going to do. and this is just what it looks like right now. This is the completed version. It uses a couple applications. Here's what you're going to need. You will need Rain Meter, which is actually a free application that manages the quote-unquote UI part of this Skyrim set. And then the background, the animated background, is handled by Stardock's Deskscapes, which is a paid program, so you do not need it. It is not required. They have a 30-day free trial, and then it's 20 bucks or something. So you should really only buy it if you're going to do a lot of these and if you like showing things off. But it is not required. You can just set the desktop background to a screenshot of your character if you would prefer, or a nice screenshot of Skyrim. The rest of it, though, is free, so let's dive into that. First, you are going to need these files that I have in my folder, and I have linked to every single one of these in the description below, and I linked them in order of use. That way it is very nicely organized. And we will just speed through this, so first install Rain Meter, because that's the free one, it's the easy one, and pretty standard installation, just click through it. Once it is installed, we are going to launch it, and it will look something like this. This is the standard uh, default background, and then after this we need to download the Skyrim Rain Meter Suite Skyrim Desktop Plugin which is developed by Axeron, I believe, of DeviantArt. Just grab that in the description below, unzip it. Go into the zipped or unzipped folder and grab test5 Skyrim Suite v2.rm skin. Double click on that, it should automatically open with Rain Meter. We need to go enable it. Right click on any of these sidebars that's on with Rain Meter and go to Rain Meter, right click, go to skins, test5 Skyrim v2, and you can start enabling these. So let's start by enabling the launcher which you can see has hey there middle mouse click me and set up your applications now that's where you can manage your icons we want to enable the vertical sidebar for that to go on top of and the horizontal sidebar for the bottom bottom of the page and you can enable CPU usage which uses by default magicka but you can change it to health or something and it is degrading usage not increasing usage so it starts full and then goes down don't get confused by that same for memory usage and same for hard drive usage if you really want to see how bad you are at managing your space. And with all of those activated, let's now go ahead and get this desktop background in. If you are not using the program, the Deskscapes program, just set a screenshot. Otherwise, follow me and install Deskscapes, launch it, and then we need, you see we have the current background and we need to install the Skyrim background. So first go download that from the link below and once it's downloaded it should auto open with Deskscapes. Double click on it you'll see it pop up in there and then all you do is of course click on it and hit the apply button just like I did here just right click and apply very easy so now we have an animated Sovngarde background and next all we really have left at this point is managing that left menu so middle click on it just like it says you are presented with an INI file or a TXT file actually just scroll down to the very bottom of it and we will see app names app1 name hey app1 path and all kinds of stuff like that and these are just going to be uh, pretty simple let's go ahead and make the first one link to a desktop icon so I'm going to make it link to I don't know why not uh, StarCraft 2 just because it's right there on my desktop so let's rename app1 name to StarCraft 2 I will right click on my icon go to properties and then grab that target ID right there copy it and paste it in app one path now you'll see when we click on it it will launch StarCraft 2 you can do this for Steam, for Skyrim, for CPU Z, for CPU ID, whatever everything you can get you just throw it all right there I think it only fits up to 10 so pick your 10 favorite ones go ahead and click through them you'll see they launch just like they do on my screen and now the only thing left really to change is if you want to change your CPU usage to a different color or memory middle click on the widget and just scroll through and change the color to whatever you want so we can do like health or stamina or any of those and uh, there are of course battery meters and stuff like that but let's go ahead and change CPU to health so that will be underscore health just like that and now it's red 
So pretty simple stuff. Now the very last thing to do, of course, is the mouse cursor. You have seen that I have different pointers here based on what I'm doing, and they are all Skyrim themed, so I downloaded those also from a link below. Grab that, and then it's pretty easy. We did this in a video before. Just launch control panel, go to mouse, click on pointers, and then you go to browse and change each respective pointer to whatever it's named in the folder, and that is everything. There is nothing left to do. So. We are completely done with the Skyrim desktop at this point. Enjoy it. I will try to do another one. Maybe StarCraft? I don't know. Leave your comments below. Tell me what kind of desktop you want. I will make it happen. As a small reminder, we will be at PAX East this weekend, so I will see you there. If you are there, approach anyone with a GM shirt and say hi. And please like this video if you like it. Leave any comments at all if you have questions. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It really helps us. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.